Hey guys, and welcome back to Nuclear Strike. When we last left off, we made a hell of a mess of the jungle, which was a lot of fun. Um, next mission. This is one of my favorite missions of the game, actually. Uh, this is the Island Strike, and uh, we get a really cool toy to play with a little bit later on. So, let's continue. Island Strike. I love this mission. Set up. Reliable intel. Levant is seen in the company of Napoleon Huang, street thug turned octad warlord. Well, how'd some crook get messed up in this stuff? And who in the hell is Huang? <laughs> Huang. Flesh, General. These guys are pirates. I'm not talking your whole Ooh. Home. They're your high-tech cutthroats with all the newest arms and outlaw hardware. Well, we don't usually do cop jobs, but he's got Lamont's nuke. He's our target. No dedicated assets in the region, sir. A mercenary named Harding Cash. Our best option. Hmm. Commander, find him, buy him, and we will deal with Mr. Napoleon Huang later. <laughs> Napoleon Huang. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, let's go pick up our boy. Somewhere in the South China Sea. Well, looks like we've got to go gate crash and privateers. Sounds fun. And this is our new bird. Oh, I love the way you, when this mission starts, I skipped it, but you can hear the seagulls. Such a cool little test. Lots of British hardware in this mission. The Scimitar. This heavily armoured reconnaissance vehicle is armed with a rapid firing... Uh, what's that? Raden cannon. The Scimitar is quick moving and hard hitting for either patrol or fast attack. Yes, yes, these have been used in the British uh, military for a long time. They're old now, but they're extremely fast. The scimitar is a quick slasher, just like the Persian sword is named for. Take this vehicle lightly, and it'll leave you cut and bleed. Yeah, 12 cylinder Rolls Royce engine, I believe. Ah, and another British one here. Uh, Warrior combat vehicle. This heavy APC has been used by the British since the 1980s and is similar to the American M2 Bradley. It carries a 30mm uh, rod and cannon, supplemented by a 762 chain gun. Take out this vehicle before it offloads its troops. They all can carry stingers. Yeah, I used to love the Warrior. Um, they've been replaced now uh, by a next generation version. I can't actually remember what the next gen version is called. Um, but it's pretty damn nice. Ooh, Hawk mobile launcher. This surface to air missile packs a powerful warhead, but it's slow firing. Hawk batteries are protected by radar. Oh, Hawk batteries protected by radar will fire further, twice as fast, and have four times the armor. Their missiles do twice the damage. Yeah, these things are a pain, to put it lightly. But uh, ah, I'm sure we can deal with them. Dodge and destroy or die, Commander. Dodge the missile and launch a hellfire to destroy him while he reloads. Mm-hmm. Well, he reloads, yes, yes. They reload quite fast, obviously. You don't actually see a man run along and actually put another missile on the pylon. They are rather nasty. Uh, ooh. These things are cool. This mobile surface um, to air missile launcher carries four heat seeking missiles. It's one of the most deadly SAM launchers in the world. It can fire 12 missiles before reloading. Yes, even though it only has four on the uh, pylons. But we're, we're not going to judge video games, you. You miss in your history, Chief. Hit them fast and hard with a hellfire. Don't play around. I do love those uh, CGI. Cinematics and <laughs> machine gun pickup. These makeshift reconnaissance vehicles are outfitted with a 50 caliber heavy machine guns. They carry no body armor but are agile and evasive. Call this a poor man's APC. You wing it, you kill it. If this was all the enemy had, we'd be kicking back on the beach with a cold. Mm -hmm. Kicking back on the beach with a cold one. That sounds a pretty good time to me, Hack. Quad 40mm gun system. These four barrel anti aircraft artillery systems provide lightweight, sure, and naval defenses. They're fast firing but lightly armored. Yeah, quad 40mm guns. Luckily, the amount of damage they do does not reflect um, the caliber, so quite lucky there. You want to hit the guns, not the cement. 
So pull in, point blank, and fire. Keep jinking so he can't draw a bead on you. Yeah, those things are cool. Nasty. Uh, we've got the scimitar. Oh, have we already seen the scimitar? Yes, we have. Okay, okay, so that's our weaponry that we're up against. Mm, quite interesting on this mission. We've got Fuel LZ. Temporary LZ has been set up south of Cash's Island. This location is a drop off point for rescued locals. These drop off landing zones will come in handy. You drop off the locals, we repair your armor. Oh, we get the same cutscene. That's a shame. Home base, and here is our advisor. Mercenary Harding Cash. Harding Cash. Cold Harding Cash is an Australian mercenary who will only work with you if you pay him in advance. Doing things the Harding way turns out to be the easy way. Hmm. Cash knows La Vue Royale like the inside of his wallet. He can mm -hmm. be a vital asset to us. Pay him or lose him. Fair enough. Well, we shall go grab him. Ah, and the Harrier. Yes, this is one of my favorite toys in this game. We only get to use it twice, I believe. This is one of those times. The Harrier is a unique VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Well, it was unique uh, back when this game came out. It has no cargo hook and cannot pick up additional fuel or ammo to retrieve your chopper. It must be landed back at the Harrier Island. This thing has an insane uh, weapon loadout as well. It's got 5,000 armor. You've got 30 30 millimeter guns. We've got the mantas, missiles, and torpedoes. Very, very nice bit of hardware. She's old now, but uh, she was certainly in a class of her own for a very, very long time. You won't get to fly these birds off, so have fun while you can. Yeah, of course. Um, used in the Falklands War, actually. Uh, back when they were in their prime. Very nice bit of kit. And here is our replacement helicopter, Prototype Sea Apache. The naval version of the Super uh, Apache is not yet in service with the US Armed Forces. Strike Files is um, uh, files the most advanced prototypes, or flies, why did I say file? Uh, it incorporates built-in quick ladder and four harpoon missiles in addition to the standard Hydras and Hellfires. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's a little bit more deadly, and the quick ladder does make quite the difference. There's only one Super Sea Apache in service, Chief, and you've got it. Show a little respect. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should show her some respect. Unfortunately, we have the um, the Harrier to play with, so we're going to be using the Harrier for the first bit. Right, let's have a little look. Strike has gained, uh, has tracked Le Mans to South Pacific Island chain of la vue royale. There he met with the local criminal boss, Napoleon Huang. As Huang is our only known link to Le Mans, you must locate and apprehend him. Expect serious resistance. And that, Strike I believe, Edmonton. yeah, that's just the standard. Who? Enemy. Napoleon Huang is one of the most ruthless criminals in the Pacific. He controls uh, the Octad, merging of eight high-powered criminal organizations. Hmm. Records indicate Napoleon Huang heads the Octad, eight of Asia's oldest criminal organizations. Up to now, Huang's engaged in regional operations, but if he gets his hands on Le Mans' nuke, he'll he may decide to take his business international. And give new meaning to the market going sky high. Mm-hmm. Well, we're here to make sure that doesn't happen. Where? Location overview. Huang's power base is a small chain of islands in the South China Sea known as the La Vue Royale. His relatives run many of the islands. Huang uses the native population as a shield to protect his criminal organizations. This is, of course, unacceptable. This is a covert operation against an outlaw state. At the heart of Huang's empire are the military bases he seized when the crown abandoned this colony. He's also packing a lot of black market hardware. He's continually expanding to nearby islands. The Octad is into everything criminal. Gun running, extortion, forced labor, money laundering. Looks like he's getting ready to take his show on the road. And that's where we come in. And how? Resources are limited for this campaign. Utilize the Sea Shadow as your home base and as a mobile resupply platform. Protect its supplies whilst uh, utilizing local resources whenever possible. This is a tiger hunt, Commander. You'll need to stay on your toes. Use the local resources when possible. 
Remember, the objective is to capture Huang. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Don't you worry about that. Right, let's contact Cash. Wow, look at all the Hawk missile batteries. Woo. We're in for some chop here, guys. Tacticals, A nests, scimitars. Only a couple of scimitars. Not many warriors either. I imagine they're probably pretty expensive. Right. Well, let's contact Cash. Contact military advisor and mercenary cold harding Cash. Cash is a skilled independent contractor independent contractor who must be recruited to help you accomplish your mission. Transport and drop local treasure. I like that. Local treasure. So we're not even paying for this. Excellent. On to Cash's island to buy his services and pick him up. Andrea, who's our asset here? Harding Cash, local mercenary. He's a live wire but manageable. He'll play for the right kind of inducement. Okay, let's get him on board. Can we trust him? With Cash, you get what you pay for. Well, that's good enough for me. Let's go pick up our boy. Cash at large. I don't think he's at large, per se. Alright, let's go pick up this dumpster full of cash. Come on. Yeah, man. There we go. Let's... Oh, hey, pal. Oh, hello. Take one load of local treasure to Cash's LZ, and he's yours for life. Only one load? Hmm. I'm surprised the Oxidad hasn't actually managed to get to him yet. See you later. Whoa! Bloody hell. Right, let's tame these seas. This is mad. Huh. Well, let's waste you. Try not to hit the big, vile box of gems dangling underneath our Apache. We need that. Look at these little pieces of shit floating around. Old rotten boats. Hmm. Not, ooh, not quite the resistance I thought we'd be up against, to be honest. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of you. These always have supplies in them. See you later, light boatman. Or lighthouseman, I should say. What have we got? Oh, hello. There's a junk. Really? This multi millionaire. I remember that hack. This multi millionaire, like, gangster privateer literally has old galleons. Well, luckily they're just made of toothpicks. Let's go find our boy. Hey, Cash, where you hiding? Now, Cash has got some good gear on his island that we can use as well. And of course, he has to make an entrance. Harding Cash at your service! Excellent. I hope so. Best bloody digger in the trenches. Come on, my friend. We have some fuckery. Right. Fuckery to do. Now, what's next? ASAT launch. <gasps> I don't like this mission. This mission can re easily return uh, a instant fail if not careful. Defend strike satellites from ASAT missile attack. Le Monde supplied Huang with three anti-satellite missiles. They're aimed at strike nets uh, Pacific region GPS satellite. Loss of the satellite will mean losing all regional intel and communication. Destroy all three ASATs before they can launch. I've got bad news, General. Geo vector telemetry indicates Huang's got three. Count them. Three ASAP missiles prepped to take out our eye in the sky. I've got a pretty fair idea of their exact location. Commander, you must destroy all three missiles. Once Wong knows you're hunting them, he'll go for a quick launch. So yeah. Ride them hard, Chief. This may be the last time you hear my sweet talk. Well, that would be a shame, Cash. I'm going to be honest. Or, I should say, hack. Right, let's go waste these missiles. Exactly where the ASATs are. Get on it, Ace. Yeah, we're on it, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Best in the business. Ah, look at these little boats. I'm surprised they don't have cannons on them. Right. First one is really easy. 
Like, don't be fooled how easy that first one is to waste. The others are not. I do love the scenery in this game. It's so cool. I'd love to have seen a HD remaster of these games. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. You're out of here. Let's open up this bad boy. What do you have? The first one had armor in it. You've also got armor. Nice. We've already burnt through nearly a quarter of our tank already. We'll be coming back here later. Well, the sea's nice and calm for now. Uh-oh. Avoid the hawks. Whoa. Avoid the hawks. Jink. Uh-oh. Bloody hell. Yeah. We'll open the bunker doors in a minute. Just got a couple of warriors to deal with. Actually, can we deal with you, please? Thank you. Right, pop them open. This is probably the toughest one. Go pop that sucker open. Right, let's waste these warriors. Nope. Nice oh, one, Cash. Just flip the switch. <laughs> Swig it egg, big homie. <laughs> yeah, try not to shoot every fucking thing there, Cash. Nice. Right, he's exposed the missile. This is really hard to hit, as you can see. Whew. Yeah, that's what does you in on that, but just how incredibly difficult it is to actually hit. Whoa, our armor is toast already. Not good. Let's avoid Gun Island for now. That's what this island is called. Gun Island. Very aptly named, if I say so myself. Let's take out the radar. There we go. We'll be back for you later. Gun Island's alert zone is down. They're ripe for the picking. And it will be plucked. Just not yet. This is the last one. This is number two? Well, she's down to Davy Jones's locker now, my friend. Okay, not bad. Not bad, Cash. Whoa, bit of lag there. Send you to the bottom as well. Oh, hey, friend. Good night. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? Uh, Octad Airfield. Clear the Octad Airfield. This island holds <coughs> a portion of the arsenal that Huang seized when the British removed their defence forces. Leave the airport defence. Oh, level the airport defence, then destroy all nine OH-58 uh, Hell Rangers before they can provide air cover for Huang's fleet. Yeah, very important to take these helicopters out before they take flight because once they take flight They are almost impossible to hit um, Because of the way the game's targeting works or doesn't work Wong is our only lead at the mine. He's dug in pretty deep. Let's shut down this operation. See if he'll surface Pack. Primary air cover is a squadron of Hell Ranger Chopper General and that's just opening around you ducked Wong's first punch with the ASATs. Now it's your turn. Clear the yeah. airfield, Commander. Right, let's go burn this place to the ground. But first, we need to come in here with some more ammo. Some ammo just below us. Excellent. Let's go south. Grab us up some ammo. Our armor is pretty shit as well. Oh, God. Well, that's fine. Gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, we always draw first blood around these parts. Come on. Come on. Rockets. Hit. We might actually go down here. Yeah. Yeah. Another. Damn, we're gone as well. Hell. That's not good. Already. You can see just how hard it is to hit the enemies in this game. Like, I appreciate what they were doing with the 3D terrain, and it's cool, but, yeah, it's just the targeting system. 
like everything about the targeting system in this game doesn't work. It wasn't really very well tested. Right. Now, interestingly enough, Soviet strike. Oh, we can actually kill the birds if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, interesting thing about Soviet Strike, uh, when that came out on the PlayStation, it was kind of a beta of the game. When it launched on the Sega Saturn, it had like a better frame rate and it had over 3,000 bug fixes. Right, go do your thing, Cash. Let's drop Cash off. Might as well use the guy. We are paying for him after all. Go get him, buddy. Now, really, we should have some kind of radar system here. Alright, let's, let's blind them before we do anything else. Whoa, Jesus. Almost. Right, let's waste these choppers. These choppers are not fun to play with when they're in the air. Right, leave that last one for you, my friend. You know what? He's just about to take off. Whoa! Oh, one did actually take off. Oh god, now you get to see the horrible air combat in this game. Now, it sounds like I'm ragging on this game quite a lot, but I actually love this game. It's just very imperfect. Now, there's a reason I'm not using missiles and stuff. Because we'll never in a million years actually hit them with them. Right, not bad, Cash, not bad. You're certainly proving your worth right now. Right, let's flatten the rest of this place. Ooh, armor. Nice. Let's waste the warrior. Take out the missile launcher. We do not need them to have that kind of hardware. Good thing a few well-placed missiles send these to the bottom. Now, let's finish them off and open up access to a little t hidden toy. Let's waste you. Now you can't actually um, get access to this until we've completed this mission. So bear that in mind. Because this is invincible until this mission is completed. So, let's have... Why is there an alert zone? There's no alert zone around here, fool. Come on, shred her up. This thing does have a hell of a lot of health. But the sweet treats within are so worth it. We need fuel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're going to have to bug out and grab some fuel. <sighs> Lissai. There's actually fuel just down here. Which is good. Because otherwise we'd be boned. Fuel efficiency, obviously, was an afterthought in this helicopter. Right, let's bug out. Let's go back to this bad boy. Right, come on. Come on, open the damn door. Okay. Something's not quite right here. Ah, the two helicopters. Right, I think we've just wasted a load of ammo. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, we have to destroy these choppers before we can open that building. Now, that isn't very well explained because uh, Apache is more of a secret. In, uh, the Harrier is more of a secret. But, oh, man, is it a secret worth grabbing? Yeah, come on. Low armor. Pull out. Pull out. We really don't need to go down again. Ugh, lovely. Twelve rounds of ammo left. Holy hell. Let's go bug out. We'll be back, matey. Don't you fucking worry about that. We'll be back. Alright, let's go load up on some ammo. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think you actually have ammo as well. Now, the beauty with the uh, Harrier is 
it is truly an unfair force to be reckoned with. Actually, wingtip reload, we might as well scoop that sucker up now. Yeah. Um, it's almost like using a cheat. I'm not kidding. That thing is should be rated at hyper lethal. Um, we just hit the tail there. There we are. Good night, you worthless pretender to the throne. Now, this chopper's fucked off all the way over the other side now, which is not fantastic. Now, this island is protected by a radar, as you can constantly hear, but it is a radar on the back of a boat somewhere, so we're going to waste that in a second. Hello, my friend. Ace is high, motherfucker. Yeah, we're just wasting all of our ammo here. Use the guns. Getting behind him seems to work. Well, you're not exactly Airwolf, are you? Uh oh. Whoa. Whew. Now we should be able to open, open it up. Now you'll notice uh, every mission that goes on, our Sea Shadow does actually move through this map. So that can be quite confusing. To start with, like where the hell's our base gone? But you know, we've got our GPS, so it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. That's the bulldozer. Now we should be able to open this up. I say. Yeah, there we go. And there she is. Don't shoot it, mate. Steal it. For my money, that's the best buggy in anybody's air force. Fucking right, my friend. Or at least she was. Very in a fuel efficient. Um, also, one of the hardest aircraft, actually the hardest aircraft to fly. Only the top, top um, uh, RAF pilots get to fly them because they're so difficult. So, what's first on our agenda? Prison hunts, 300A. Prison defences towers. Or prison huts. Prison hunts. Free prisoners and sink Huang's junk fleet. Huang uses these ships to transport slave laborers out of La Vue Royale. Sink the empty ships before they can escape to open sea. When freed, the captives held prison on the island. Uh, the captives held prison on the island to, uh, to the east can assist you. Yeah. Butchered that. My reading has gone to shit today. Like this usual, really. Labor operation. He shanghai's the local and sells them to the high-paying clients for cheap labor. Commander, liberate those prisoners and sink those transports. They must not be allowed to get to open water. Haha. <laughs> yes. Calling those transports is a bit of a stretch. Right, let's take to the skies. In the best this is the best hammer in our toolbox. Now, although it says we have 100 fuel there, although it says we've got 100 fuel there, the, the fuel will actually last a long water. time. So one chance is all you'll get. Land back here and I'll autopilot your chopper from home base. Nice one, buddy. Right, let's go have some fun. We're going to be in this helicopter, uh, in this beast for a while. Oh, we can, Jink. Yeah, also, the machine guns in this thing are lethal. Absolutely lethal. In fact, you don't really need anything else. Twin linked 30mm guns. They shred absolutely freaking everything. A little bit unfair if you ask me. And of course, having the 5000 armor is rather nice as well. Yep, my friend, when he went to war in. Um, uh, oh, what should you call it? Bloody. Falklands said these things were keeping their ass safe flying around the clock shot down a hell of a lot of the RG planes right uh oh junks are escaping I didn't realize how the junks are yep I didn't realize how close we'd left that uh... that's actually really bad Right, you're done. Might not be able to catch that. That might be a mission failed. Uh, no, we just... Like, that is the edge of the map there. We cannot... Oof, that's as close as it gets. Not bad, Ace. Not bad.
Good thing we're in this, because this is so much faster than the Apache. Right. You're done, son. Get out of here. Okay. Now, the jinking is quite strange in the Harrier. It doesn't work as well as the Apache. I don't know whether it's buggy. It feels like it's buggy. Because I don't think you can jink unless you come to a complete standstill. Which is a bit strange. But then there had to be some kind of limitations with this thing. Because it's just so incredibly OP. And you can see how long the fuel lasts as well. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Stop. There we go. Yeah, so we have to completely come to a standstill. These are not friendlies. Not these guys in the tower. Right, not bad, not bad. Okay, now what we're going to do now... Is we're going to kind of leave our mission. And we're going to go and fuck shit up. Let's go to Gun Island. Let's see if we can reduce this place to rubble. Because then, when we transfer back into our Apache, when this thing is fucked, we can uh, enjoy the tasty treats within. Yeah, you can see, if we're in the Apache, this would be significantly harder. Not impossible, but definitely harder. Just going to fucking shred the lot. Mm-mm-mm. This thing eats grunts for breakfast. You a knife to a gun fight. <laughs> I might have brought a knife to a gunfight, my friend, but it's the sharpest fucking knife you'll ever see. Okay. Got warriors. Yeah, they're slowly chipping away at our health, but nothing really to worry about. You can just dance around all their defences. Man, this thing just shreds. Now you can see I'm not really using anything other than the guns. And not needed. Whoa! That went up. Right, what's left? Gun Island has been silenced. Almost. I mean, we do have to come back here later, but... Might as well do this ourselves whilst we're here. Makes it a little bit easier. Anything else moving down here? Look at all this equipment in here. That is now ours. Ha ha ha, warrior. You're fucked. So, what? Oh, hello. Last one. Nice. So, what's left? We've got some hawks up there. Basically destroyed pretty much everything. Let's go remove the hawks over here. Because this will be the next part of our mission. Best speed. What's over here? Oh. Oh, well, you're just adorable, aren't you? Even better when you're full of holes and bleeding to death. Right. And you. Really? You and your technical? I mean, is there any point? Honestly? Right, let's go take the rest of their defences out around the harbour. Must remember, we have to come to a complete full stop before we can jink. And preferably not take those guys on head on. Oh no. Come on, get ya. It is quite dodgy getting this yeah that's to the ability to, well right so if we move and it takes ages before you can start jinking there we go right mm -mm -mm. don't really have to worry about the armor too much because we have so much of it now that oh god Aha! He caught him with his pants down! Lovely. And you as well. 
Now, there's two ways you can deal with this radar. You can destroy it, obviously. If you can't get the radar, hit the power station. Oh, yeah, actually, I think the radar has too much health. Like, it's invincible, but we can destroy the station here. Which will lead a chain reaction. Come on. There we go. I think we're almost on half an hour. Oh, we're way past half an hour. So, we may have to call it. And come back to this later. Let's just finish off this island. Boom, baby. No more radar for you. Really? Really? Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so, any more hawks? There's a couple more in there. And we can't destroy too much of this stuff, because it is a mission for later. Another hawk in the middle. Let's go scratch that. Good night. The warrior. Better get rid of him. He's done. He's had enough. Oh, one more hawk. Good night. And oh, there's a cat behind my second monitor. Of course there is. Right, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. We have literally wasted this place. Anything else left on that island? There is a scimitar over there, but we'll deal with him later. Right, let's go find that radar that is painting this island. So if we can get rid of that. See, we've taken so much damage and we're still on half health. You see how boss this thing is? Yeah, we know. There's an alert zone around here. That's what we're hunting for. Now, it's possible that the radar boat doesn't spawn until it's time to do this mission. But I don't know about that. Yeah, we are getting missiles up our freaking ass. And the cat is walking on my PC, which she knows she's not allowed to do. But she gives no fucks. Hmm, yeah, maybe the radar doesn't spawn until Yeah, it looks like oh that sucks. I was hoping we could waste it whilst we got this bad boy. Right, fair enough. In that case, what else is left to destroy? I mean, we've got more stuff here. But... Oh, there's a radar. Let's get rid of you. There we go. Another radar down. Which leaves this island open for attack. Get out of here, Samasar. This is not an alert zone. We've literally just dis oh dear. We've literally just destroyed the radar. Right, burn it all to the ground. Like a Valkyrie descending from the heavens. Nice try. Yeah, these things really aren't that deadly. There's another one there, but it's all packed up. I should really stop recording, because we're going to be way over our time budget. But, I can't help it, man. This game's so much fun. Come on. There we go. You're done. Ah, another one of you, hey? You can see, if you're in the Apache... Whoa. Whoa. These things are no joke. He's seriously a no joke. It doesn't help the fact that we're apparently still in an alert zone. Right, good enough. Good night. <sighs> that was not good. We don't really care about the tacticals. A nests are pretty irrelevant. One warrior left. Would like to get rid of those hawks. If I can. A little bit of something like that. Whoa. We're down to normal levels of armor. 
All right, not bad. Well, that's their pathetic Sam defense is gone. Well, not really that pathetic if you think about it. But pathetic when you have one of these monsters under your command. Right, one more of these. Oh, hello. Don't know why you're there. You weren't there earlier. This island's one big bomb. Careful where you shoot. Yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. Don't you worry about it. We've got this. We've got this shit locked down. This is our island now. Yeah, I remember the first time I actually got access to this as a kid. I used to replay this level over and over just to use this thing. So much fun. Come on. It's basically the aerial version of the hovercraft. Ooh. Another lighthouse. Let's go see what's in that. Come on. You see how well the fuel's like. Ooh, don't shoot the ammo. Just because you don't need it, Harrier, doesn't mean the Apache can't use the stuff. Okay, what's left? Tacticals. I mean, we could take out a few tacticals, I suppose. Up here, I'm sure there's stuff. We don't actually have to ever come up here for a mission. And we're on 40 minutes. God damn it. But I guess there's probably some good stuff up here. And there's no better building opener than this thing. If this thing can't open the buildings, they can't be opened. Kind of that simple, really. Oh, hello. Really, buddy? What the fuck did you think you were going to do? Ah, we can actually destroy some of these. Ooh. It's an upside down uh, hammer and sickle there, by the look of things. Fuel station. Some spare fuel inside. Nice. Is that supposed to be like a McDonald's or something? I don't know. Let's just explore anyway. I have a feeling there might be like extra lives or something around here somewhere. Collateral damage, eh? Ah, that's all good. Destroy these boats. You know, I was really fascinated by these boats as a kid. Like, just the whole detail of the whole, like, this whole map. They're almost like dioramas in a way. Really pleasing to the eye. Now there's got to be extra lives on this level. I just don't know where any are. We could really need uh, use them for when we transfer back into the Apache. Just gonna destroy this entire village. Because fuck them, quite frankly. Nothing there. We're actually getting a little bit low on fuel. Friendly destroyed. Whoops, my bad. Ah, there we go. I was going to say, there had to be an extra life here somewhere. So, one extra life there. I'll remember that. Whoa! Bloody seagulls. Make some noise. You can see the villa area. It's protected by these guys. I say protected. You know. Not really that protected. There's only so much protection a 4x4 with a little pop gun on the back can provide. Now, is there anything in these? Wouldn't say no to another extra life, to be honest. I love the physics of the Harrier bobbing around as well. Really quite cool. It's the little things. Right, well, I don't think Huang is going to have an awful lot left. Not bad. Alright, well, we've pretty much toast his entire villa. Which is good. Because he doesn't really need them where he's going. He doesn't need any of this where he's going. Although we are bankrupting the place. That's going to cost a lot to fix all that damage. Right, anyway. Ooh. Ooh, hello, buddy. Can I actually drop someone off there? Oh. 
I guess we can drop cash off into that boat. I did not know anything about that. That's curious. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here because we are on 45 minutes. Uh, so when we come back, we're going to finish off the actual missions. But we've basically just made this so much easier. Now, of course, this Apache... Uh, Apache. This Harrier is a hidden... Hidden. They heavily hint at it. On the next level that we can get it, it's not hinted at at all. It's a total secret. Only really a half secret in this game. In this level. Um, but yeah, of course, it's totally optional. And you don't need it. But my god, is this level a little... Well, it's a little bit harder without it. It's not massively harder. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.